When I was young, I wasn't much of an athlete, so I think I got more of my macho by my cars. I had a whole variety, a bunch of hot cars, real fast racing cars. I had once a, a 405 horsepower Ford with three two-barrel carburetors, you know, oh man, that was fast. I had a whole series of uh, Pontiacs, uh, you know, the, the GTOs and the, and the Firebirds, and, and I ended up with a car called a Pantera, which is a, a Ford engine, a big Ford V8 engine in an Italian body, so it looked like a Maserati. So I went through the whole range, and my love with cars maybe brought me into the realm of biology for some simple reason, and that is because when I was in biology, I started to recognize the way we perceived a biology is that the body was a vehicle like a car. So when I became a biology student, I started to see how science started to relate the human body to a vehicle, so that we would compare a body like a car, and, and that we treat health in the same way that you treat a car going to a repair person, so that we train doctors to be more or less uh, auto repair people, except this being the auto. Well, the interesting story about this biology from that perception that we're just a vehicle is then when you look at the biology, it's just chemistry and genes. And when something is wrong, the parts are not working right. You can exchange a heart and get another heart and put it in there, put a kidney in, take a kidney out. You can do all these different kinds of things with medicine and fix it up and fix the body if it gets broken and all these kinds of, just treating it like a, a vehicle. The only problem with that is that we try to figure out how things work and we have no idea. So medicine, very interestingly enough, knows how to deal with a car or vehicle body by parts replacing it, but really has a lack of understanding of how the parts actually work. And this is why we have the biggest problem in healthcare, because medicine can deal with trauma, but not with disease entities such as cancer and diabetes and Alzheimer's and arthritis and multiple sclerosis and we start to go on and on we start to recognize they can identify them but they just don't know how it works so what this really means is in our conventional understanding of perceiving the body as a vehicle we've left something out and you know what that is we left out that there's a driver